I mean, Wiltshire himself says that these children are at risk of cultural isolation. Uh, there have been findings of children, for instance, being taught in assembly to chant anti-Christian. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, today we're going to be checking out these are not British values. Douglas Murray schools Muslim newcomer and leaves room silent. Guys, let's get straight into this. So, welcome to the Douglas Murray channel. Today, we're diving deep into some thought-provoking issues surrounding education, culture, and national identity. So, grab a seat, hit that like button, and let's get started. And I want to speak to Douglas Murray. Kevin. It doesn't surprise me that Christians say they're being marginalised or they're being um, not given the status that they want to have because it's quite right they shouldn't have that status. In Britain, forgetting about the Muslim issue, in Britain there are schools tomorrow who will open and teach their children about creationism. They will teach their children that evolution is a lie and a conspiracy. That is nonsense. And me as a taxpayer, I'm funding that. That's, that's well, let's get back to the state schools. Let's get back to this particular issue and the... The, the, the alleged extremism that has been going on, uh, not, not, the, not the Trojan horse context, it, we don't want to conflate two issues here, but Douglas Murray, you know, 95% of children in a particular area are of the Muslim faith. Uh, you were complaining in your article in The Spectator that in one primary school um, music was banned, that, that's kind of another issue, but raffles and tombolas were banned. I mean, what do you want to do? Do you want to encourage Muslim children to gamble? What's your problem with that? Should it, ref it should reflect the nature of the school. Yeah, so first, they came for the tambolas. Um, for what? what? Look, um, the, the problem the gambling going, going seems on wrong here, the, in the those problem, communities. The problem going on here is that we're in the middle of, of a debate. I mean, the nation is going through something very substantial change, and I think that what we've been discussing in recent days and what we've been discussing this morning kind of reflects this. In Britain, some schools teach creationism and reject evolution, a practice funded by taxpayers. This sparks a debate about the appropriateness of such teachings in state schools. Additionally, cultural clashes arise when local traditions, like raffles, are banned in predominantly Muslim schools. To people, and it comes back to the British values thing as well. If you said to people until very recently, what is Britain, what are British values, you'd have got a fairly clear um, reply along the lines of, you know, a Protestant Christian country, we have institutions of church and state and monarchy and so on, which represent the country. As one of the results of mass immigration of recent decades, there has been a substantial change in the country. All sorts of good things have come from that, and some negatives have. But one of the things that has come from it is this, uh, this confusion about what it is we are. We want to be open and tolerant, we want people to be able to practice their faiths, we want pe people to be able to express themselves and live the lives they want to live. What we're finding it very hard to do at the moment, and I mean the French secular example has already come up, is to work out where our lines are drawn as a nation, because they're not clear at the moment. It's we're impossible in the middle. to draw those lines, isn't it? It, it, it? it may prove impossible. It may be that we do something like the French state did and try to draw very clear lines. That's what you've heard in recent days, there's a bit of it already this morning, that you know, there's a problem with some schools that are actually you know, state secular schools that happen to have had... How bad are these um, problems? Uh, the problems exposed in, uh, in uh, Sir Michael Wolfshaw's report are, are pretty serious, and there's, there's more to come. Um, really? What's, about what's so teaching. serious in the report? I, I, think, I think, for instance, I mean, Wilshire himself says that these children are at risk of cultural isolation. Uh, there have been findings of children, for instance, being taught in assembly to chant anti-Christian. Should public education reflect the diverse beliefs of the community it serves? British values have traditionally been linked to Protestant Christianity but mass immigration has introduced significant changes. This shift has led to confusion about national identity and how to integrate diverse cultures. The French secular model is discussed as a potential solution, but it may be impossible to define these lines clearly. But if I, if did, I, you know, uh, if, did you know the, the none of the people in that school were spoken to during that so-called investigation? And, but, okay. and the, 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 the teachers were not speak or spoken to either. Isolation. You come to Stamford Hill where I live, oh, well, not far away from our house, we have a particular community, the Jewish community, who live in a very isolated way. Nobody says anything about them. I have no problem with that. Hold on. I have no problem with that. If that's what they want to do, that's their choice. But we don't 
create a big fuss over the Jewish communities, especially that particular community oh. living in that way. Wait, wait, why, cause, why, why cause a fuss over a report that was made out of a hoax letter? Hang as on, well as on. You, are, you acknowledge there are issues. I, I did oh, say yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Rabbi, uh, Rabbi, Rabbi Lord. First of all, we're, you're talking about uh, faith schools. We're talking about state schools. Exactly. That's the first thing. Yeah. Second thing... The what, many, the what, many, on, the many of the schools me. are funded no, by the I'm state. not going to interrupt me. Stop. The second thing is what should be taught in schools. Actually, I think you should be teaching about religions. So that doesn't mean you have to believe. But if we don't know what other people believe... Yeah. We don't know. The literacy to challenge the idea of what you mentioned it, the, you used your language, of the true faith. But it's not just... So I would say there are faiths out there and Britain is about acknowledging truths of faith. And the third isn't, thing isn't, is about wait, what wait, we tolerate. Wait. The third thing is about what we tolerate. I don't think that everything goes. And I think that if there is incitement to hatred, to racial hatred or gender hatred or sexual... About How can a nation reconcile openness and tolerance with a cohesive identity? Sectarian issues in schools highlight the complexity of religious and cultural integration. Hmm. Reports of anti-Christian chants and cultural isolation raise concerns. Yet similar isolation in Jewish communities is not scrutinized. This discrepancy suggests a need for consistent standards in addressing cultural practices. You do restrict that. Okay, but Dr. Smiley... Don't worry, don't worry, we've got a lot of time. <laughs> Douglas Murray, you can't force people to believe things. You can't no. shoehorn people into a particular Douglas Murray shaped. I have no intention David Cameron-shaped Britishness. No. Can you? No, I mean, this is part of the By the way, just, just very quickly I mean, on, this, on this matter of this, I mean, I do think that one of the things... But that address this, that this, issue about... Okay, can I just mention first, one of the interesting things that's come up in recent days and weeks, I think, over this whole Trojan horse business, is I think that some Muslims in this country, in particular a lot of Muslim, a lot of Muslim spokespeople, a lot of Muslim groups have been furious about these revelations and are now denying them, they're still denying them. And this is something like happened in the Catholic Church over the paedophilia scandal. Yeah. People just don't want to admit it. They don't want dirty laundry to be aired in public. They genuinely, they genuinely think that... Wrong. And that's why there's, there's still this denial, even now. The there's an official report by Sir Michael Wilshaw. It's found some very disturbing things. Some people still this, think that they don't, don't exist. Is this the same Sir Michael Wilshaw and, who just did a U-turn on what Gov did or and, didn't and, tell and, him? You, you know, Mary, Mary, the thing... Either you think this has all been... Do you think this has all been made up? Uh, well, I, I think Do you think it's all been made up? What I actually know is that there are serious governance issues, there have been internal administrative issues, whether there are issues of extremism, which is what you're peddling, and what in fact the publication you work for is peddling by publishing one of the worst covers in this country that I have ever seen, oh, forget, suggesting just, that young children are vehicles for um, extremism and Nikki. terrorism. You should be ashamed Nikki. to be yeah, even I, associated with okay, <laughs> can, can I just give, this is a very good example of the problem. Miriam. You are I'm a sure you I are am. a very oh, prominent you are a very <laughs> prominent uh, spokesperson. You are a voice. You are a very prominent convert to Islam. You have a voice. I'm not, I don't call if, myself if, a convert. Okay, so don't right, call me whatever one. it is you you, you yeah. want to call yourself, you have a voice. Here are some problems that are coming up, which have been exposed. How should schools handle the teaching of different religions to promote understanding without endorsing beliefs? Denial of extremism in schools is compared to the Catholic Church's denial of the paedophilia scandal. Despite official reports finding disturbing practices, some still deny their existence. This reluctance yeah. to acknowledge issues impedes addressing them effectively. And they're being taught by some extremist Muslims. Why, Extremist. in this debate, you first of all deny that that is going on, and secondly, I've think the problem is a spectator cover cartoon. I've I never denied do that there not are issues. understand. On this three, the problem is not the spectator issues. cover. I think the Let's issue go. is you're Miriam trying first. to I want to speak to Daniel Hallam. Yeah. Miriam, respond to that. You're, well, you're, you're trying to suggest what you're trying to do is support the, the go, go of the gender here, which is there are absolutely issues within these schools, and I think everyone, including the uh, Hands Off Birmingham School campaign and others, have acknowledged that there are certain people who should even stand down as a consequence of some of the revelations in this report and reports that will come. The issue, however, is trying to rebrand this as an, as an issue of extremism in order to expand this idea of extremism being non-violent ideas. Wilders, or indeed, mm. Nick Griffin had been asked to come along 
and speak in a school. Neither of the you equivalents be... of those two individuals were invited to speak in these schools. Well, I'm sorry, Shady Al Suleiman no. is a man no. who's... He's just... called... What? His views are worse than What are his views? Well, is... anyone who supports Al-Qaeda in public, anyone who supports the ideology of Al-Qaeda... Who says he supports Al-Qaeda? Anyone who supports the... Uh, I'm not philosophy. defending him, but who well, says... He's not being stoned to death. He should be invited... Why is there resistance to confronting uncomfortable truths within communities? Extremist teachings in schools raise the alarm, but the focus often shifts to controversial media representations instead of the root issues. The debate involves whether these problems are being exaggerated to push certain agendas. Guys, first of all, I think Douglas Murray was hitting her at the right point, but like I would say this, everyone will have to protest their own, and this is the painful truth that a lot of people want to see. If your brother went out and steal and he comes back home and police are looking for him, you will say he has been at home since yesterday. Let's say the truth. But like, I will still be honest. The fact that some things are happening that are wrong and we should call it a spade a spade. Like, let's, let me use Hamas for instance. Like, some Muslims will not f come out fully to say that what Hamas is doing is wrong. So they will hide under the fact that Hamas is fighting a war and the war didn't start now that October the 7th was not the when the war started and the war has started since, so it's the war, that's why October the 7th happened. But like, we all know the truth and like, more like, you know, when you catch someone stealing, you might say, I have not eaten since last week, that's why I stole your phone. It does not make sense. You don't steal. It does not change the fact that you did something very ridiculous. But back to the square, I honestly believe that religion should be taught and this is something that really does not happen in christian universities or christian schools a lot of religion should be taught like islam like when i was in university i really wanted to dive more into religion like when i started my level 100 like when i took the course intro to christianity then i did my own search on like understanding the religion islam i really want to know what is what it meant like why people are in love, I'm willing to die for the religion. Like, I really want to understand it. But me, doing my research, I, I honestly felt that I should stick with Christianity, but I understood Islam in a way. I honestly believe that Christians, I, I won't call us selfish, but like, see, we are free with, let's say, your child is going to school and some people, some Islam, evangelist yes come and give your child a quran i really feel most christian parents will be angry but like this happens to muslim in christian school and i really don't know how to deal with it like i'm just trying to move myself like as a christian or a muslim or as a religious person from the issue and seeing it as a person so i i honestly really feel like islam is not really promoted enough like I feel they don't really explain that religion enough, like Christianity does. And maybe reasons are, uh, I don't know, I feel, honestly, I believe Islam is a cult. I, I really feel like people who are starting to, people who want to join the religion don't really know this. It's the fact that you'll be killed when you want to leave. Like, if you openly say I'm denouncing, mm, you'll be killed. And I honestly believe that if you, if I'm willing to join a, community and I can't leave the community like it's a cult I, I really don't know the right word to use for it it's just a cult and for me I feel that just that but I still will think about this and honestly I believe students should be taught every religion in school for them to know the path to follow I honestly believe your mom might be a Christian and you might not see reasons to be a Christian so you just want to be an, a Muslim or a Jew, like, I, I really feel like, I honestly believe that Christianity is the right path, but like, this is my belief, someone believe my differ, so everything should be taught in school. But guys, tell you think about this, like, share, subscribe to my channel, I'll see you next time, guys, first.